Um, if the leak is true and it's an SNK wrap that we're gonna get here for another unveil today or in the future, we most of us know that it's gonna be something else from SNK. I wouldn't be surprised if it was uh, Shamsho or uh, King of Fighters. But only time will tell. I like it. I like that idea. Uh, just realized this is going to be heckin' loud if I don't tune this down right now. Oops. Hey, good thing I remembered it now instead of right when it started and it just was in your ears, causing you to, your ears to bleed out uncontrollably. I'm mad I even remembered that part of the song. Yeah, I did at the start of this stream too, because I started listening. T I started listening to the Fire Force, Fire Force uh, opening one, banger by the way. Started listening to test audio, and I forgot to lower the volume. Metal Slug, it, Metal Slug does have badass music. Metal Slug is supposed to be a contra game and a quarter eater by design, so you will die. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. <laughs> Also, as you can probably tell by my disheveled look in some regard, I walked in the door about 15 minutes ago from work, and I am like, I think I'm running on like three to four hours of sleep thanks to getting woken up s several times in the middle of the night so I am either going to be incredibly loopy or incredibly stone stone face stone face slash stoic throughout this just because I am in a state of mental enigmism flux there we go that's the better word Oh yeah, that's right, you're on the night shift, so you're probably going to watch this as you're getting ready for work slash go to work as soon as this is over. <laughs> no wait, today's your day off, isn't it? One of your two, anyway. Ah, okay, so I knew it. It was a it was a day off. I was right, actually, because you do work well. I mean, the company you work for is uh, who it is. It, well, no, oh wait. Well, I can stop talking because it's time to get this started. You're kidding me! <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Lol.
Well, welcome to Nintendo Switch Overwatch, two years after the fact, at least. That's kind of funny, though. Oh! Did they... They... I think they integrated motion controls into this game. I think I know where the Splatoon kids are going to go pretty quick now. Alright. Bitchin'. Two weeks? Or a month and a, month and a half? Alright. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. I had to make sure I had my setting up as high as possible, but this is live, so frame rates might might fluctuate. Or not our quality. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th. So please look forward to it. Also just a reminder that just a reminder, if you're thinking like this is Blizzard's first outing on Nintendo, no, Diablo 3 did come to Nintendo Switch a little while ago. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies. Harsh sands. And booby traps. Yeah. Boo. Floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you. Well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, Two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's okay. Luigi's 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Okay, local. For Halloween. Alright, local versus mode. Well played. Get a load of this new free-to-start Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. Wait, isn't this the 3DS game? Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. There we go. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Wow, okay. It's free to start too. Well, now it's now it's online multiplayer. This long awaited recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From Hell yeah. different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your Yo! Okay. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Dope. Find out what's in store for the beloved world. No, that's so far away. Oh no. <laughs> but it's nice that they actually are making it like a full on action RPG. Yeah. It's nice that they're making it like a full on action RPG this time around instead of like with the uh, Secret of Man remake, which is just 
uh, point for point remake just made it pretty. That the Trials of Mana game is go, uh, is gonna be, it's probably gonna be in contention for like best game of the year next year. Oh. Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 29. This is like this is like some this is some reviewers like favorite game of all time. I forget who. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Hey, it's town. Little town hero. Protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Uh oh. Little Town Hero. Uh oh. Stand <laughs> on Nintendo Switch October 16. Uh oh. Purchase and preload the game later today. Uh oh. Game Freak's working with Toby. I just got updated. Wow, good. And the release date is today. Today. Whoa, hello. Today's Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Okay. Over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. Hi, Judy. Up oh, here it comes. All right. We're going way back, by the way. Oh, or not. The Neo Geo. Holy cow, it is it is an SNK rep. Holy cow, okay. Somebody called this, by the way, on a tweet. Geese Howard? Oh. Okay. That's Sham Show. Iori. Okay. That's Mr. Bogart. All right. Terry Bogart. All right. All right. Terry Bogart. That's fine. 
people were out here thinking it was going to be my Shiranui as well, by the way. That's fast. <laughs> so, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? Oh boy. What are you going to hit me with now? We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can What? <laughs> well, fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Well then. More Smash, I see. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Well, the the train ain't over yet. The, the, par the par party train ain't over. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. It's a remake. You'll need some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. And encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholand Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Oh. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. All right. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. He's not that RNG heavy. Echoes of an elusive age definitive edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S. Man. Of an elusive age definitive edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Huh. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo. I'm, I really want to. I really need to get into Dragon Quest this series, but it just every time I do, I always get like hella distracted by something else and never do. I have Dragon Quest IX over here. For DS. Barely touched it. Say hello to Tokyo. Tokyo Mirage Sessions ported to Nintendo Switch. We persona now, boys. The story takes place in modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. I don't think Lindis is a performa in this. In the Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January I don't think I don't think Lindis was one of the Quinico performers, so Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins again. When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case, she also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth 
for madness. Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles a Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Why do I know that name? Divinity. Whatever. Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, the D&D game is on Nintendo Switch. Run! Nerds, run! The nerds are coming! The nerds are coming! Oh! Well then. That's kind of amazing. And I suppose this is the definitive edition, so... Ha so you can access new content almost immediately if you've beaten the piss out of the original Div uh, Divinity 2. And now for a message from Bethesda. Ugh. to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Hell yeah, Doom. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. I mean, it's Doom. You can't go wrong with Doom. Using a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Okay. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. I mean, it just Pokemon that's a big okay. Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. That's a big Eevee. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Okay. That does help spice it up a little bit. You can change your hairstyle. Thank you for actually letting us preview it in advance. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. <sighs> you gotta look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. That's shiny El Creme. You can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. 
Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. <laughs> we definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. That's that's just humorous to me to see uh Third, Tyranitar playing with a with the cat toy. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art so we're curry. That's a new Pokemon. What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. I love it. And water -type Pokemon I love this thing. It's stupid looking. I love it. It's a seagull, but I love it. Yo! Yo, that's dope! Retaliatory damage. I love it. That thing is stupid, but I love it. <laughs> well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So do we have a meme? Do we have a meme about that? Po I already forgot the Pokemon's name. Do we have a meme about that Pokemon yet or not yet? Because we're gonna. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. Well, well, well. Super NES games on well, 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 what do we have here? There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up and Oh no! Oh no, Puyo Puyo! Oh no! <laughs> Well, Super Ghosts and Goblins is now just busted. Here are the first games we plan to release. So I saw Breath of Fire. EDF, lol. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Alright. We will eventually add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. That's a goddamn mouthful. Also, that is a wireless controller. That is a fully functioning controller. This Super NES style controller will be available for... Ooh, that's actually tempting. Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information. Yeah, it says $70 for two. It's $30 for one. Fair. Let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. That's not a bad looking controller. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. Oh, good. In daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! 
Okay. Hey, hold on. I have that. Hold on. I have that. <laughs> God damn it, Will. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition. Feet. I hate that. I hate that. That's become like a meme almost. It's just Mario characters toes. Feet. No, it's I haven't played myself, but it's it's a it's a beloved franchise, so it's fine. The uh, it's 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 a beloved series, so I'm I'm not gonna just sit here and mock it. It's yeah, it's fine. I might pick up that game regardless of the fact I haven't played the demo yet. Rogue Squadron? Or Jedi Knight 2, there we go. I, der. Yo, this game is this game is a dope game. Do not knock this. This is like there, <laughs> the online battles in this game were something else. That's dope. That's a dope game. Look into that one. Oh yeah, the uh, Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other slayers to take down boss sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Alright. Well, that was the original Nino Kuni. Get off the stage! Boo, get off the stage! You suck! You still suck! <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to take that out of context. 
Yes, yeah, still suck. There we go. That's what I came to see. And all interest in this direct just plummeted. Call it Cthulhu. Call it Cthulhu. I know that name. Outer Worlds. Lull. Whoa, hold on. Is that allowed? Hi, Dante. Welcome to Nintendo. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Wait, he's talking directly. Hold on. Where's my wallet? Save your wallets. Hide your wallets, children. Thank you for choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a Looks like some lot returning. The resident services building at its center is here to support your needs. So Looks like there's a, uh, several returning uh, villagers, which is nice. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches. Oh no. Stones. Oh no. We'll head to resident services. Oh no. Animal Crossing Minecraft edition. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. Oh! You can fully enjoy okay, I feel like that's not been a feature in previous Animal Crossing games, just do minute uh, adjustments. I don't know, I haven't played an Animal Crossing game really, so. But I feel like that's something fans would love, just so they don't have to pick up everything and then select it and then set that back down after moving one tile over. program you can exchange your miles for special items and recipes you'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island so be sure to take advantage of this program there are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island go fishing catch some bugs tend to flowers and pick them to make a garland Thanks to crafting, even That's a bug. Why aren't you catching the bug? I haven't played Animal Crossing, but why aren't you catching the bugs? A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. <laughs> Plant it somewhere That's else hilarious to me. Things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too.
sociable types you know together on the same island can play simultaneously up to four players at a time on one system we hope you enjoy living together oh local co local co-op play nice and eight players online okay all right well i've i have officially lost half uh, all of you guys um i hope you enjoy your play dates Also, make your paths. Oh, you can you can fine tune the pathing. March. So, how did it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. So this, is this a big unveil, by the way? So either this is Xenoblade Chronicles ported to Nintendo Switch, or this is Xenoblade Chronicles X ported to Nintendo Switch. It's Xenoblade Chronicles. Well, Monolith Soft just wants money. <laughs> Well, I guess that $50 disc I bought of this ages ago is now bunkus. Like, just the disc. Not, e not no manual, no box art. Just the disc. Cost me 50 bucks used. Originally released in 2012 on the Wii system is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Eh, we'll hang out for a little bit longer. See how long the uh, Banjo Kazooie presentation goes on. I don't mind. I don't mind chilling about with this for a while. So yeah, that that direct was. Rather laid back, like nothing super amazing was announced other than Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, don't don't feel the, the obligation to, but I will say press F for uh, people like Jared Conroy who have done a let's full let's play Xenoblade Chronicles and now have to beat the game again to get the five extra hours of content added to this game. Nintendo 64 back in 1998. 
The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. Ah, uh, I defeated man. As some of you having to having to say that name, Nuts and Bolts. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Brothers series. Yeah. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. Yeah, because I think I mentioned this several times when it came up. What about Banjo Kazooie for Smash? Because people asked this so many times, and I just said, I said, dude, Phil Spencer, Larry Herb, they both. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> okay, show good faith. But yeah. Uh, Phil Spencer and Larry Herb have said on multiple occasions, yo, if Nintendo wants Banjo and Kazooie for Smash, all they gotta do is ask. We will give it to them with open arms. So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. So, um, I do want to mention really quick that Yes, I'm streaming this. I'm going to keep streaming this because I would like to look at what Banjo Kazooie looks like. But I'm just going to. I just plan. So this Hold on. Banjo Kazooie in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM. Okay, I had to listen to the music for a little bit. I'm just going to stream until the Nintendo's done with everything, and then I'm probably going to end my stream shortly after that's all done. I'm not going to stream super long today or for very much because. I'm tired. I'm tired already. I still have to eat dinner tonight. And yeah. Nice. Their neutral attack is called This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rap. Okay. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat barge. Their up smash is build roll. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. Nice. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means Bird Bash, which is pretty accurate. <laughs> Alright. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Much like with the Banjo Kazooie games, Kazooie does a lot of the work. Which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster. Killing. Did I just get stung by a bee? Even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. There's a little black bee that was on the side of my head, and I just and I just poked it, and I got stung. Don't hurt. Just strange that that existed in my house. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster yeah, it's a small black bee. Should I be worried? Where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually increase, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, eh, I'm gonna look it up, because now you got me worried. As in the original game, it's an invincible charging attack. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. 
However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option, and since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. Oh. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring pad. It's Sonic's up B, but not as high. still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. Oh! So if you're falling, you can use it like this. Jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Huh. Recovery options. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile, in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. This move seems kind of... Its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it will explode. I feel like, like they've shown this move before, I feel like this move is kind of mid. Yeah, because anybody can pick this egg up. Okay. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear, and the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. I wonder how far down you can go here. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. Hi, Mumbo. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, Mumbo looks terrified to be there, by the way. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around. So I'll play carefully. Wait, does Banjo have the funny aerial? Does he have forward aerial? Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. No, we're playing with items on. Hmm. I 
think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. You just know Sakurai's flexing, right? But I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Ring two more times. Also, no, I want to note that Diddy is living... I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. I want to note that Diddy is, has survived longer than DK. You can have that. Oh god, Sakurai plays like me! <laughs> Items are on. Oh, sweet, a sword. You can have it. I do want to do the final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. Did, did this man just JV? I forced him out, so I win. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty nice. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. Yo, Treasure Trove Co! In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Later, Bottles. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways. Just throughout the, game. the fact that that he's call that he's calling everybody a poor soul. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. Hi, Tootie. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's Don't. She's havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand Sad souls! Really is. Sequel to Dark Souls, Sad Souls. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Gingenator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world. Also, I have this open. I'm going to just look in the camera. Do I have like a red mark yet? No, I don't. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs. But so right. they can float around, they're well, lucky enough to have made the cut. I think it was just, I think that bee just was a quick sting. I don't think it did anything, I don't think it did anything problematic. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total Okay, this Gobi's Valley song is kind of going in. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original banjo Kazooie's music. Yeah, Grant! You got to work on Smyuja! I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood. Oh no, it's the freaking it's the freaking Temple da uh, uh Temple Dash. <laughs> and here's the list of tracks this time. 
Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taken For Mr. Patch and Lord Wu Fak Fak, okay. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. Well, he's adding a new mode. And here it is. Home run contest. In front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little too high. <laughs> Home run contest, baby. Okay, that's fine. I'm not mad that we didn't get Smash Run, but this is fine. Also, the sandbag is blushing. You can actually play with the second player. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you okay. find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Alright. This will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope well. you upload your Mii Fighters. Alright then. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. That's a nice little thing. Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. These are probably purchasable ones too, unfortunately. <laughs> that that's fine. Mystical Ninja. This this is actually pretty awesome. It's blues. That looks pretty. I like that costume. That's that's pretty snazzy looking. And the zero set is back. All right. What? <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's cute. You're kidding. Can shut up! <laughs> well, I mean, everyone's gonna buy the San the Sans costume for the music, but still. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request, and this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. 
Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. He was actually really good. Translation. Toby whipped my ass! Probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of Amiibo that will soon be available. Oh god, here comes my pre-order. Oh yeah, Squirtle. Zenigami. I wonder if I got these pre-ordered or not. I can't remember. I can go check. Colonel. I wonder why he was hiding. They will each be available on September 20th. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Uh. Okay, yeah, these ones I have pre-ordered already. We're good. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. Uh, yes. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I am playing getting the Link's, Link's Awakening. It's already there. I've already got the Link's Awakening Amiibo too. Here you go. Oh! Idle animation. We got a King of Fighters stage too. Nice. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. Okay, it's my neighbor's phone buzzing. So I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. We stay. We stay until it until it flips back to red, like that. Okay. So I don't think there was really much to pull out of the bag other than my uproarious laughter from the sands bit. So. This this video is probably this is probably just going to be solely on the stream archive channel on YouTube, but I don't know. That was very laid back overall. That hold that everything with that direct was very laid back, but that was still a good direct and still a good unveiling of how banjo works. I realize I am incredibly red right now. Welcome to the fact that I'm sitting like two two to three feet from my screen, and I have this in wide screen mode or full screen mode right now. So, Nintendo still isn't, like, opening the bet. Like, they still haven't, like, spilled the beans on anything they're working on for 2020, which is fine. But I feel like we're going to get another Direct come... It's like every... It's like two-month intervals at this point. So, I feel like November... I'm going to say, like, a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, they're gonna, there's going to be another Direct where they're going to be like, Oh, yeah, here's, here's a lot of our 2020 plans. But... Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, I'll probably get it, and I'll add it to the list of, hey, I have every Xenoblade Chronicles, well, I don't have Torna yet, but I have every Xenoblade game, Xenoblade Chronicles game, but I have played zero, zero of it. 
<laughs> Oops. It's pretty cool that we're going to get, uh, starting tomorrow, we're going to get SNES games. Maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow featuring the SNES library. We'll see. I might still go back to Dark Moon. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I've got to, that I can ponder on additionally besides what was shown here. If there's more DLC characters coming for Smash... That makes me happy because we, I mean, that makes me happy and sad because, like Sakura said, the finish line is always going for, getting further away from him. Yes. Like, Sakura said his finish line is getting further and further away from him, but it is allowing him to bring in more game worlds. And for someone like me who, for someone like me who wants representation of Shantae and Golden Sun, for example, that is not that is not snuffed out yet, I guess. But this also is a bad thing because we're gonna have people constantly requesting characters that will not get in because it they are it's it's just dumb. It's just dumb. That's all I'm gonna say. It's dumb. But anyway. Everybody has wishes and dreams for Smash for the uh, for Smash Ultimate DLC, either the fight the fifth fighter in this fighter's pass or upcoming ones. Happy that we're gonna get home run mode. Home run mode. Upset that we don't get Smash Run, but eh, whatever. I'm not that upset. And what else? There was something else I was gonna think of. Also a reminder that for Switch owners that I think the Reignite trilogy launched today or yesterday. If it's not this day, if it's not now, it's going to be next it's going to be next week. Also a reminder because the Reignite, Reignite trilogy is coming out on every platform uh, outside of PlayStation 4 that reminder that the Spyro Grand Prix event is happening right now. So, hey, keep grinding up to try and get Spyro. I guess it's a rant. I'm kind of going off on this. Uh, it looks pretty, but I hate to say that I do not like the Spyro track in, G in CTR. <laughs> I do not like it. But I'm just one man. Um... And uh, just to answer Distruger's question again, uh, I do plan to get the link. I, I am going to get Link's Awakening, the remake. I do have the Link's Awakening Amiibo also coming, uh, coming because I am, I am on collector status. As I sit here and look at the wall, my wall of shame, so to say. Um, that's about it. And I, I did say I was going to keep this stream short, but did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me, uh, before I end off stream tonight and I'll get you over to somebody else to, for, if you want to keep watching Twitch for the evening, I'll get you over to somebody else to watch. But, um, I do, I'm going to, I am going to keep to my schedule. Like I've been trying to, I am going to stream again tomorrow night. Whether I decide to do that uh, Super Nintendo, um, the, I can't, I'm going to try not to use uh, vulgar words, that uh, do a cacophony of Sma or, uh, Super Nintendo online games thing, or if I'm going to do Dark Moon, that's still kind of up in the air. I'll mention it on Twitter what I'm actually planning on doing. Uh, let me see where I can send you guys off to this evening. Uh, 
Uh, oops, I clicked on the wrongest thing. And it looks like everybody, including myself, is just reacting to the direct. And they're done. So I guess... I guess I'm not really going to pass you guys off to anybody. Okay. Actually, a better idea. I'll, I could take I could take a request from you guys for who to pass off to. Is there any? Well, actually, it looks like it's clearing out. Never mind. We'll rescind that state. We'll rescind that offer.